Hi everyone, Grey Power 60 here, bedtime chat. I wanted to show you a new teacup. Not the saucer, but the cup. It's very delicate and I just think it is so pretty. So I'm having my first cup of tea. It's a Royal Grafton cup. Beautiful. And um, somebody was throwing it out downstairs. Actually, there's another one I should show you. I have it right here. And, oh, you're not going to be able to see it. Oh, man. Anyway, it's got butterfly on. No, you're not going to be able to see it. There we go. There's the other cup. It's got a butterfly on here. It's got a butterfly on the handle. And then it's got a, I think it's called an iris. Isn't that cute mug? They were throwing that out too. It's just made in Japan. But in case you didn't see, this is my delicate teacup. And this is a pale yellow and some purple flowers and white with a gold trim. I had this white saucer. The teacup broke and I always kept the saucer. And I'm glad I did because now they can go together with the gold trim and the gold. So I thought I would have my last cup of tea. I have to have a cigarette too, but I thought I would come on and just do a little chat. And I sort of wondered about my life sometimes. I just sort of wonder you know, am I doing anything? I used to think I was. I used to think that um, I was a good person and I was very helpful and compassionate, empathetic, all of those things. And I guess since Mom moved in, I felt less than adequate and that my empathy was gone, my my humor was gone. So I and I thought about that a lot and what I thought mostly was that um my glasses are dirty was that I wasn't being a very good daughter. And the other thing is, you know, living with someone else, um, especially your mother, but living with someone else when you've been alone as long as I have, your personality changes. Um, and we can't blame ourselves for that, but we can't also, well, maybe our personality doesn't change but maybe the expectations of how we're supposed to be. And I almost feel apologetic for, um, I almost feel apologetic for my life. And I don't know why, I, you know, I, I suppose it's guilt. I suppose it's, feeling inadequate, maybe I'm not doing enough, maybe, I don't know, I, you know, I, I just have these questions, and I guess anytime we're a caregiver and when we lose our temper with our elderly parents, we don't mean to, or at least I don't, I don't, I can't speak for anyone else, but it's like when we have children and after the hundredth time of saying something to them, we kind of lose our patience. We kind, you know, 
and then we feel guilty about it instead of giving ourselves a little slack and saying you know a person can only handle so much I mean it's understandable and then we start feeling that we're not very good parents we're not very good moms or dads or whatever and okay it's sorry I think it's cat hair he was up here a minute ago but Sometimes I feel like that. Sometimes I feel like um, I tried so hard over the years to be there for people, to be understanding, to, you know, just listen to them. And, and I feel sometimes that I am short, not shortchanging my mom. I feel like I'm disappointing her again you know I felt like that as a child as a, you know, as a young woman um, we always want our parents approval and yet really when I think about it um, the laughter is gone and I want to bring it back I want us to laugh again I I don't know. I, I wonder if you guys understand what I mean. You know, leave me a comment if you understand sort of what I question, what I question. And I don't do it all the time, but it's just, um, it's been a year now. Mom and I have been living together. It's been a difficult year. Um, Mom has, I think, somewhat come to grips with the fact that you know her memory is going and um, it happens when she does something and forgets that she did it and um, and then says no I didn't do it you know um, when I know she did and I think those are the more difficult times and that's when she gets a little cranky um, we started off the other day, I was saying, you know, on my video, you know, she's just, she wasn't in a good mood. It was, she was in a wonderful mood all morning and afternoon, early afternoon, but closer to supper or just after, um, she was questioning something she had done, but she didn't remember doing it. And and then she got angry and and um, I try really hard not to say mom you did but sometimes I can't help it you know I, I, I forget to you know I forget that she forgets <laughs> if that makes sense so um, and then she'll go in her room but I really sometimes after thought during that moment, I feel she's upset with me, I've done something wrong again, or I've said something wrong, or I've used the wrong tone. Um, and then after, um, I kind of slept on it, and today I thought, you know what, I think she's mad at herself for forgetting. And I think that maybe that's what, you know, people with dementia do when they start realizing that they are losing their memory. And I think that they get angry at themselves. Um, Mom was always, you know, laugh. I mean, you know, she had her days, but she, uh, you know, she laughed more. And I have to figure out what can we do to make her laugh more. Um, I don't know. I don't know. What do you, suggestions? Anyone? Can you think of um, situations where we can laugh more? I know we enjoy movies together sometimes. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to start yawning. Um, I brought my computer into the bedroom when I was doing my crafts and things because I was doing some relating and I was watching how-to videos kind of thing. Um, then I brought it back in the living room and she seems to like that because I'm with her. 
um, I cannot bring all my crafts out there. It would just be a mess in that in that area of the living room. If I had a way of like, if I had a way of putting everything in a cabinet that's closed, that you you know, well. I was looking on Marketplace on our Facebook in the, our local area, and there was a guy selling, uh, you know, a wall, a cabinet, a full cabinet. A I call them china cabinets. Um, glass top, drawers on the bottom, two cupboards or whatever. For $30. And I thought, oh, I could get that. Paint it white, because my room is all white. It would be an excellent get rid of my, like, all the things. I'd have a place to put everything. Because it's glass doors, I could have it all well. You know, I just, I thought this grand idea for $30. I may have had to rent a truck. I can get a little van for $15 plus gas. So even at $60, you know, when you figure out the total cost of it, even at $60, that's a pretty good price for for a china cabinet, right? And mom thought it was a fantastic idea. And then when I thought about it again, um, most of the wood in my living room is dark wood. And, you know, I'm kind of thinking, well, I could have it in here. I could put my, you know, I could take the fireplace out of my bedroom, put it in the living room, make more room. All of these things I was thinking, oh, you see, I told you it's dark. Yeah, it's 2 o'clock in the morning or past. I'm not sure. I hope this is still filming. Let me check. Yes, it is. And I hope I'm not too close. You see all my wrinkles, but you know what? I do that on a daily basis. I'm going to have a quick cigarette, and I apologize ahead of time. But... I mean, you've seen me smoke in the car, but, um, yeah, so I had all of this, you know, and I thought, oh, I could organize all my craft stuff, but then I was thinking, well, maybe I could put it in the living room, it would look like a piece of nice furniture in the living room, oh, F, oh, easy, see, I told you I'd start yawning, if I painted it dark like the rest of the furniture in the living room it would fit in better um, right now it's kind of like an oak color it's kind of a um, you know um, oak or teak color it's a light wood I think it's more oak uh, not pine but you know walnut something like that um, not quite as dark as walnut I think so anyway going on about nothing and mom thought it was a great idea and then I would thinking if I did, oh, if I had something like that could hide, like I can't afford $2,000 for those absolutely beautiful, you know, uh, craft units that they have online or that you could order. I mean, it's, that would be like a dream come true. You just kind of fold it all open and the, everything is organized in it. But I thought that might, you know, that might help. Um, that way I could take things out of my room and do them in the living room with mom. Oh, sorry. Because when I do my crafts in here and she's doing her knitting, you know, I think she feels disconnected because when I start doing crafts, I get out, I, 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 you know, go on and on for hours, right? But she does like it when I do things and then I go and show her and she's just amazed at how pretty things are. So, I mean, even though they're, you know, it's just my work. But anyway, I just thought I'd come on and kind of throw my brain all over the place and, you know, talking about mom and trying to make her laugh. And I don't know. I'll have to come up with some ideas. I'll have to go online again and see. Uh, maybe Mum would like to play cards or 
play different games. I don't have any. Oh, because I always play games on the computer. I, you know, um, I was alone. There was no need to have games for two people. Um, I would just play games on the computer. I tried to get her to, to go on the computer. I'm going to try again. There's uh, bingo on pogo.com. Um, She's got a, an account with them. Um, I'm actually going to let it run out because she doesn't go on it anymore. But she used to do the bingo on there. And maybe there is an idea. Maybe, you know, maybe, oops, maybe she could, you know, do that for a little bit. She enjoyed it the other day, when, the other day, a couple of weeks ago when I had her do it. So that might be an idea. So that's about it for me for tonight. Um, I just wanted to come on and chat. I hadn't done that for a while. Anyway, guys, I'm battling again. Um, I'm almost finished my cigarette. I'm finished my tea for the night. So I think I will end this and say thanks for joining me and uh, listening. And uh, leave me a comment on what you think would be, uh, you know, fun things for Mom and I to do at home without having to go out and spend money. Um, she's been doing a lot of knitting. She enjoys doing that. She wants to sell them, all of her scarves that she's made. She made a bunch of hats a few years back. She doesn't remember how to do them. I'd like to get a pattern for her and let her try it. We shall see. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Thanks for sticking around and listening. And we'll see you soon. Bye for now.